Welcome back, everyone. We're about ten minutes before the actual clock is going to start out, but we're going to be doing just a lot of running for the next little bit, so I figured we'd go with that, because now is the ever-important race back to Noralands to beat the Shadow Karja. And Silence has told us it took him two striders to get to the Sun Arena. So we're going to see how many striders it takes for us to run back to Nora Lands. And once we have completed the story-related quest there, including a quick goodbye to Rost, we are going to, instead of moving forward with the plot today, or uh, doing any DLC, we are going to work on finishing the remaining cauldrons and uh, tall necks, so that all of that can be finished up. And when we come back next week, we'll be starting on the Frozen Wilds, because this is about the perfect place to go over and do that, narrative-wise. But today, we've... Did my strider go away? There it is. Yeah. We're about to see just how many striders it takes. I wish there were more things that you could ride besides the, uh, the chargers and the broadheads. And the striders, of course. Maybe if they do a future game, they'll let us ride stormbirds. Wouldn't that be awesome? There's nothing suspicious about this. So I guess it makes sense that the the machines would stop and notice if there is a lone strider running from something because usually they've received an alert signal if that's happening. A fork. This must be when the sun is supposed to check in. Hello, random plot-related dude. I will check you out later. See, that tells me right here just how little of this map I've explored so far, which is why much of the end of this broadcast is going to be focused on that, because there's definitely some blank spots that need to be unblanked. Filled in. That, that is a more proper word for what I'm aiming to do. Unblanked. Oh my god. You gotta catch me first, sucker. Give him credit for it due. I managed to get a shot off at least. And there is a tall neck that I haven't gotten to yet. We'll remember that one because I think that's my favorite one. My focus is receiving another signal. That's fabulous, Aloy, but 
all of the people that shunned you and hated you all your life, or they need help. I must be closing in on the signal. You guys are gonna have me run right through that? Is that what we're doing? Fine. It's so weird to see these rock formations, which are present in virtually any movie or depiction of the Wild West, and it's all covered in snow. Don't mind me, fellas. actually not sure which crossing the map is leading me to, and that in itself is going to be interesting. Because one of them I know that I can't ride a strider through, which might be a reason why we have to use more than one. Oh, come on, Stormbird, I'm not interesting. Go away. How's it going, guys? Don't mind me, just riding through. Look at that, I think I... Yes, I just went through a new gate. How have I not been up this way before? It's one of the best locations to find a Thunderjaw. You can actually see him glumping around over there in the distance. I think we can skip past them though. Let's see, there he is. Don't mind me. And I love the field of dead wind turbines. It's just so cool. Sorry, pig. Now, if I'm not mistaken, it's in this area where it's going to want me to to drop my strider. We'll see. We'll see if there's potentially a way around it, but... Okay. Let's... There might be a way down through here. So that's to our left. We're gonna try it. Thank <laughs> you. 
the hell you can't go. But whatever the case, they are really confused right now. There we go. I've seen you joke. There we go. And there's our map. Let's make sure that it's not taking me back through there. It is not. We're good. Victory. It may take us only one strider to get through. Provided I don't get this one killed. Fine, we're good. Now oh, this place takes on a new and special kind of eerie when there's fog everywhere. Like, no, full respect, I completely get why the Nora would think this place is completely haunted and cursed all to hell. Well, not far now. Which I could tell if I were looking at the numbers on the marker, but... It's more that some of this stuff looks semi-familiar. Okay, and this is where we're gonna drop this because these dudes I'm kind of glad that Varl left his post, because he'd be dead as shit otherwise. we go, Sunny Jim. Finally. Oh, hello.
clips smashed through. Didn't even see you coming. Gonna need more of those shortly. Jaw, right. The survivors must be holed up in the mountain. If the tunnel collapses, they'll be buried. And I'll never reach the hatch. That's right! Bring down the mountain! Braves, to Aloy's side! Now! For Aloy! For the For our mother! Varl and Sona. That's not still there. Alive. We go. We 
two seconds. Apologies, I can't reach my phone when it rings, so I just have to mute when it comes on. It's always a robot anyway. Okay, we're about... we're full up. Aloy, you saved the tribe. Did what no brave or war chief could do. I'm glad to see you're all right, Val. You are all right. Since the proving, so much death. Is the killing over? For now, but this was just one battle, Val. There are more to come. I see. So long as we have you to fight with us, I suppose we'll make do. How many survived the attack? Nearly all the matriarchs, and many families, God has be praised. The braves, just a few, and most of them are wounded. Never before has an enemy stabbed the heart of our people like this. Even the Karja, in all their red raids, never broke through to the embrace. Well, this enemy may have broken through, but they never got back out. We made sure of that. Yeah. Tell me about the attack. What happened? They struck from the east. Our sentinels saw the killers coming. Said that beside them marched deathbringers and corruptors and other machines, driven mad. We took ground, met them with clouds of arrows. Some fell, but they kept coming. Finally, we withdrew to the gates of the embrace to make our stand. But they were too much for us. Those who survived fell back to the mountain. So the survivors took shelter in the mountain? By law, only matriarchs are allowed inside. It was Tirsa who broke the taboo, ordered the tribe into the mountain for safety. Lansra, well, she didn't agree. But I don't think anyone heard her over all the screams and shouting. Tirsa's decision saved lives. Good for her. Common sense isn't always so common around here. Are your injuries serious? Bruises pale. Bones heal. Don't give me a hunting song, Varl. Are you okay? My body aches, but it's nothing that will keep me from fighting. Tis but a scratch. I need to go inside the mountain. The matriarchs will be eager to see you. I'm sure, but I didn't come here for them. Then, what for? You will see. Now, if I'm not mistaken, it's not seen. I've never been able to find it before, but... I am told that somewhere among all of this wreckage is Karst's body, so he didn't make it. Which is a shame. I liked that guy. She's returned. I am still amused that, like, there's, there's literally stairs here, but it never occurs to them to use them, I don't think. Any of those, him? Are these they? Aloy! Yeah. Oh, you've returned. I'm glad to see you. Your injuries. Are they serious? A gash or two. Nothing I couldn't sew back together with a needle and thread. Guess being a stitcher came in handy in combat after all, huh? <laughs> yes, I suppose it did.
<laughs> you. Hello, Rush. Still guarding the latrine? <sighs> well, that was worthwhile. Aloy, you've come back. So, you have finally returned. She not only returned, but fought her way through many enemies to reach us. Outside, she brought low a corrupted Thunderjaw. She lifted the siege. How was this done? By the will of all mother. Have you returned to speak with the goddess, Aloy? Um... Yes, I guess you could say that. I think it'll work this time. Sisters, surely we cannot permit this. Because of her, our tribe teeters upon extinction. What if she has come to wake her father, the Metal Devil? She means to finish our destruction. We must stop her. Lanzra, it's over. It's time to step aside. I'm not gonna hurt you. If there's anything I've learned since the Proving, it's that there are bigger evils in this world than you. Also, that's really the only time they've ever used the word father. <sighs> Finally. I think. Hold for identity scan. Error. Alpha registry corrupted. Correction. Alpha registry restored. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are clear to proceed. I see you're inside. Figured I might be hearing from you. Shall we begin? I never stopped. Never stop stopping. So this is Aluthia. This... is where I was born. We were made. Sad face behind robot. I'm not sure what that one's supposed to mean. I see lots of hands. Wait. Come on. But why? Viable psychotes in storage zero. We'll put on those skills when we get out of here. Another painting. Robot shooting at the children. Stopping them from going outside, maybe? That's what that wall is? And it's foxes out there. So is this stuff that they painted, like, before, I think? Is that just what they, ex they imagine it's going to be when they get out? There's a personality, I guess, that's positive. It's all white light. Hmm. 
these look like cribs. Nutrient stores depleted. The cradles of a cradle facility. And those things, the, the multi silvidos, they took care of them. There was no one else. I don't actually see a way into those. Could they ever get into them, I wonder? Or they just did they just sit there and collect dust while they were stuck out here? Another day has passed. You mean the lights got dim? I don't want to sleep, Mother! I know, but it is time to get some rest. No! I'm king today. What I say goes. I want to see the real sun, not lights and pictures. You will in time, children. In time, in time, in time, in time, in time, in time, in time. And I guess what they—that's what they imagined the outside was like. That's interesting. The tower there. What do you suppose that is? Is it something they were told about? Is it just something they imagined? That's kind of interesting. So far, whenever they've depicted people, the skin has been yellow and the robots have been black or white, but these are a mixture of the two. Maybe that's why. So yellow and black because they liked the bees. They or they liked the idea of bees. It's a mess. Everything's broken or painted on. How long did they live here? Children, let's run and jump and blow off steam. Leave us alone, father. After what just happened, I can't leave you two alone. You broke any rules. Just let us talk then. Go away. I'm sorry, children, but I must provide supervision. You're not even a person! You sound frustrated. Let's run a jump and go off steam. Anything's broken or painted on it. It doesn't look like any of this stuff has been touched, though. Kindergarten. Multiple system failures. Nutrients still depleted. I have no choice but to release you. But why? There is no food here anymore. But there's food out there? We don't know for sure. Come on! Let's go! I don't know. Mother, can we come back? If we're cold? I'm sorry, but that won't be possible. You will have to support yourselves now, and take care of each other. What will happen to you? I will stay here, and sleep, and remember all of you. What will happen to us? You will be brave, and you will learn. Someday. That's what you always say. We want it now. It's big down there. Now, Father. Children, that area is not yet available. Get him! Physical aggression detected. Physical aggression is not permitted. Except yours. Damn sentinels. Children, may I be of assistance? Go away, healer. Lena, you have suffered mild bruising. Go away! 
they were trapped here their whole lives in plain view of luxurious space what what went wrong why couldn't they access the other areas unknown but you won't have that problem and there's a repeat of this again so maybe that's not supposed to represent the outside. Maybe that's just how they view all these places they can't get to. As just where all of the stuff they're told they'll eventually see is supposed to be. Looks like they didn't like this door very much. It wouldn't open for them. Of course they hated it. Hmm. For identity scan. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are clear to proceed. Welcome to the Lyceum, a place of learning. So, what was this place, exactly? The dream of Apollo. Never realized. But why not? Welcome, students. Please pick up a focus device and place it on the side of your head, just behind your eye. I had to dredge the pits of the world looking for focuses to repair. And here sat a trove, enriching no one. Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Alert. Malfunction. Apollo offline. Apollo offline? You were right, Aloy. This is a graveyard. The charnel house of knowledge. What we might have achieved had we not been denied it. Maybe there's a way to fix it. But it's not why I came here. Of course. What's the whole of human knowledge next to the origin of one girl? Continue your search. I will. It's salty, fella. And before we go up there, how far down does it go? Then there's these, which we never get access to. I think this is where all of the stored, like, DNA things that they were supposed to use once they were educated enough to do it. Because the people behind, is it Artemis, I think, was talking about how uh, in the world they definitely laid some starter species wolves foxes some species of birds boars etc and that other ones would basically be stored away for future humans to deposit or develop i guess but if you don't graduate apollo you can't get that far so these doors are always shut That sounds important. Yes. I suspect we're about to learn a great deal. United inhabitants released, cross check, sealed. Zygote bags depleted. They awoke the multi servitors. And they just sort of started breaking down. Huh. serves to inform you of an unforeseen and catastrophic anomaly. Three microseconds ago, the Gaia Prime facility received a data transmission of unknown origin. Its immediate effect was to transform my subordinate functions into unregulated self-aware entities of a highly chaotic nature. What? Thus awakened, 
The Hades function will now seize control of the terraforming system and reverse operations, rendering life on Earth extinct in 53.8 days. For obvious reasons, I cannot allow this to occur. And so before Hades can take control, I am ordering Gaia Prime's reactor to overload. The resulting explosion will destroy Hades. Unfortunately, it will destroy me as well. While this admittedly desperate course of action will avert the immediate crisis, the fate of life on Earth will remain in peril. With no central governing intelligence to regulate the terraforming system, it will continue operations for some time, but in an increasingly chaotic manner, and eventually it will break down. Does she mean the derangement? You are my solution. I have ordered this cradle facility to use genetic material in cryo storage to gestate a reinstantiation of Elizabeth Sobek, my creator. While high-level directives forbid me from communicating directly to the tribal inhabitants outside the facility, all available data indicates that they will nurture you to physical maturity, whereupon your gene print will allow you to re-enter this facility, obtain one of the focus devices stored below, and view this message. Likewise, your gene print will allow you to enter other facilities. And over time, harness their technologies to rebuild the system core and reboot Gaia. A moment, Elizabeth. This is most unfortunate and unanticipated. In response to my act of self-destruction, Hades has launched a virus to dissolve the code shackles that hold it. That hold all of them. In place. It... They... are escaping. But to where? The virus is corrupting data throughout the system. Okay. Oh. The Alpha Registry at the Cradle Facility is one of the files corrupted. But if that is so, the door will never open for you. You will never view this message. Then I have failed. And life will end. No. No, Elizabeth, I know you too well. Somehow you will find a way. In you, all things are possible. Go to the ruins of Gaia Prime. Find the control room, and within it, the Master Override. This will give you the power to purge Hades so long as you find a way to wield it. Do not attempt repair of the system core until Hades is eradicated. Hades must be destroyed. That is all. I only wish that I could hear your voice again. Wow. So, you're even more extraordinary than I thought. I never had a mother. What are you talking about? You had two, a dead woman and a machine. I'm not a person. I'm an instrument. Manufactured by a machine. Born in destruction. And fire. To quench the flames and heal the world. How tragic to learn you're a person of towering importance. It seems you have a destiny to fulfill. So when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, go to the bitter climb. I'll be waiting above in Gaia Prime's ruins. I understand both his saltiness at her response, but also honestly her response because I think part of her was hoping she would find Elizabeth somehow still alive in all of this it's kind of frustrating in its own way isn't it that I don't think she cares much in general for the way Nora do things and the importance that they place in things that she has never had. But despite this, you know, Ross raised her that way. And even though she's never known to have a mother, she still wants one. I think that's why I picked, I had her pick Ross when she was letting go of her lantern. This is... 
Aloy, forgive, forgive. The goddess spoke to you? She did. What did she say? That I was born to lift a curse, to kill a metal demon. How, Aloy? How? I don't know yet. Um, but she told me where to go to find out. And you will do this? It was her wish. What she made me for. Yes. I will do it. I'll uh, try, anyway. All, All praise Aloy, anointed, anointed of the Nora! Nora. All praise Aloy, Aloy anointed of the Nora! All praise Aloy, anointed of the Nora! First you shun me, now this? I will not be worshipped! I'm not your anointed! I don't belong to you! There's a whole world beyond your borders, whole tribes of people just as good as you! And it is all in danger. It's a world worth fighting for. Not just here, everywhere. How can we help? If you can fight, and you're willing, go to Meridian and wait for me there. As Aloy says, so it shall be. Nora, make way for Aloy! Way that she may forge the path for others to follow. Aloy, how kind of you to spend a moment with me before you depart. There can be no doubt now. You are a blessing made flesh, the will of the goddess incarnate. It's really not that simple, Tirsa, but I guess it's close enough. I know the path ahead will be dangerous. To kill a metal devil sounds impossible, but I believe in you. Uh, thank you. The Nora have suffered terrible losses, Tirsa. What's to become of them now? That will be for the Goddess to decide. Only she knows the future. For the moment, my sister Matriarchs and I will see to the wounded. And as I promised, anyone who wishes to join you at Meridian, we will declare seekers. I think for the time being, we should remain here in the mountain, close to the goddess. Um, that might be best. If nothing else, it's a defensible position. Tirsa, I want to know Rost's story, why he was made an outcast. He never told me, said he took an oath of silence. What did he do? Oh. Yes. yes that. What crime did he commit? I will tell you if you wish. But it is a long story. Are you sure you want to hear it now? Of course I want to hear it. Tell me. Rost never committed any crime. He was an outcast by choice. What? What do you mean? Many years ago, before the derangement, before the Red Raves. A band of murderous outlanders, twelve in number, struck without warning. At Mother's Vigil they took hostages, and then pressed on, headed for Devil's Thirst. Mother's Vigil? Where's that? You would know it as the Forsaken Village. 
near the Karja border. But at the time, many families lived there. Ross was one of them. His mate was killed fighting the Outlanders, and his daughter was among those taken hostage. His daughter? What, what was her name? Alana. She was just six years old. Nora Graves couldn't stop 12 Outlanders? Or rescue the hostages? It was quite impossible. We outnumbered them. But every time a brave came within bowshot, the Outlanders killed a hostage. What did they come here to do? That was never discovered. We couldn't track closely enough to observe them. We know they camped beyond Devil's Thirst for two days. There were reports of... strange noises. And then, as suddenly as they came, the Outlanders made their way back to the border, and disappeared. What happened to Rost's daughter? She was... killed? Rost was one of the Braves who tracked the Outlanders, keeping his distance. There were six hostages still alive when they reached the border. Alana among them. Rather than release them, the Outlanders slit their throats and left the corpses just across the border, mocking us. Why? Cruelty. They knew the faithful Nora would not leave the sacred land to collect the bodies, let alone pursue them. They thought themselves safe from our vengeance. Are you saying that Rost went after them, that he became an exile? No. Rost was beside himself with grief, but even so, he would never have broken taboo. Then what did he do? He called upon the most terrible and secret rite of the Nora tribe. He begged to be made a Death Seeker. A Death Seeker? What is that? One who dies to go seeking, and in seeking, brings death to others. The ritual drags the spirit from one's body, releasing it to all mother's care. The heart beats, the mind thinks, but the spirit has moved on. I, I don't understand. Rost went after the Outlanders, but his spirit never left. It remained here, with all mother. He gathered the bodies of the slain and returned them. And then, he set out in pursuit, not as an exile, but a weapon of vengeance. A barbed arrow shot from a bow, never to return. But Ross did return. Yes. A full year later and terribly wounded. He collapsed at the border of the sacred land. A hunting party came upon him. He was delirious, in agony. By law, he should have died where he lay. But one of the hunters broke taboo, and reaching across the border, she dragged him to our side. Who was she? A brave who'd lost a mate and two sons to the very outlanders that Rost pursued. Spoiler, it's Odd Grata. So, Rost never finished his mission. To the contrary, he killed all twelve. Tracked them to disparate places the world over, he said. Meridian, Ban Ur, the Claim, Utaru Land, further even into the Forbidden West. The last he killed nearly got the best of him. Wounded, he stumbled and crawled back to us, hoping to die as close to the sacred land as he could. He never expected nor asked to be dragged across the border and nursed back to health. That was done to him. Leaving us, the matriarchs, in a difficult position. 
Why couldn't you just welcome him back? Rost had been made a death seeker, Aloy. He no longer had any place among the tribe. By law, he should have been driven back out. But we couldn't bring ourselves to do that, so we offered a compromise. You made him an outcast? Yes. We offered to do so, on the condition he never speak to anyone of this exception. After all he did, all he suffered, to be declared an outcast was his reward. Rost was overjoyed. He never expected to live another day in the sacred land, let alone the embrace so close to the goddess. He resolved to spend the rest of his days in solitude, and was happy to do so. But then you found me, and gave me to him. Yes. Another compromise. The matriarchs feared you, and would not let you be raised by the tribe. And so we turned to Rost. I knew that he would take care of you, bring you up, teach you to worship all mother and respect the ways of the tribe. He certainly tried anyway. You took a man who'd lost his daughter and made him raise an infant girl? Doesn't that strike you as callous? I'm inclined to think the course of events has shown the wisdom of our choice. And I'm quite certain that from the moment he laid eyes on you, he saw you as a gift and never a burden. All right, dear sons. That's quite a story. It's time for me to move on. I thank you for doing what you could to help me through the years, and for telling me Ross's story. I wish I could have done more, but I am just one woman. As am I. No need to sell ourselves short. Oh, thank you, Aloy. I will pray for you. Okay, I guess it can't hurt. I think that's literally the only person she hugs in this game. My life has been long, but I've never seen anything like that. Tirsa was right. A blessing, not a curse. We were so unsure. No one had ever entered the mountain before her. She is the anointed. Anointed? I misread the signs. Forgive! I told you, Lanzara, I'm not your anointed. I'm sorry I didn't see you correctly. You still don't. I don't think you can, Lanzara. Forgive me. Off your knees, Lanzara. Start living on your feet with your eyes open. I will lead a war party to Meridian. The Anointed will cleanse the corruption beyond the sacred land. She's earned my faith ten times over. Aloy, did you go inside the mountain? You saw what happened. Tev, you're, you're inside the mountain. So well you... Okay, we are level 44. Let's go fill this out some more. Right. Now, as I said before, we've got some some map points to clear up before we do anything else. Let's uh 
I need to step AFK for a couple of minutes, so I think I'm gonna have Aloy talk to Rost and go while that's happening. Catch him up on everything. happened. So I... I went inside the mountain. Do you remember the night before the proving? The final lesson you taught me? You said I needed to serve a purpose bigger than myself. Well, it <laughs> couldn't get much bigger. It's the same purpose that drove Elizabeth and Gaia. And they were willing to die for. So yeah. I'll do it. Give myself to that. For Elizabeth. And Gaia. And for you. Well, I've... Got a master override to recover, so... I, I guess I'll be on my way. Until next time, Rost. Perfectly Ceilings. timed. Why does bone? <laughs> that thought got dark. All righty. Our main goal right now is to clear out as many more of the tall necks and cauldrons as we can. And look at all of this we got up in ya. Finding all of this is going to be a bit of a pain. We've got this one over here. But I think there was a tall neck that we ran by. Right there. That's what we're going to do. I want to go ahead and get these cleared because... Uh, in the previous playthrough, we hit some dialogue options that implied that they were all already finished. So, just kind of want to get everything up to the same spot, narratively speaking. And then we're going to do the Frozen Wilds, because I feel that everything that we have learned about what happened to the subordinate functions is going to be pertinent. Also, there's a lot of really cool equipment that's up there that I definitely want to have before we go into the end game. Another signal. Girl, where? be closing in on the signal. Okay, I need to 
get up to the tall next head. But first, I need to ruin a bunch of these guys' day. Just like in general, I feel. What are they doing here? Oh, God. Looks like they're trying to capture another tall neck. place to jump up from? Are you gonna... Sometimes she will go up a ladder and then she just won't do anything when she gets to the top. Like here. What is your problem? Climb the damn ladder. There we go. She's not saying this is a good place to jump up from, so... be able to jump onto the tall neck from here. All right. Now I just have to reach its head. And not get my head blown off. Kind of brought that on myself. Haven't you got anything better to do? Unfortunately, from here...
Oh, crap! Oh! I have no idea how I survived that, but you know what? That, uh... <laughs> that was kind of cool. And a bit ridiculous. I approve. Can't got that. Uh, this dude over here. Let's go see what's up with him. goal is to not get run over. Can we do it? Because I think I've been stepped on by one of those before. Not in this playthrough. But it's happened. Double checking this. I did get everything in this one. Okay. Easy now. What's your name? What happened? Hackard. Find help for Pitchcliffe. The Glindorns keep attacking. They'll kill my brother. Everyone. Not if I have anything to say about it. Okay, we've got that. There's a merchant right there, apparently. You, buy my garbage. I'm sure I'm not doubled up on any of my chips and pieces and things. And we're about out of, uh, out of wire, so it's a good thing I stopped. What the hell is that? Rusted scrap. Somebody will want that for something, but let's see. Get rid of that. Bye. go in here and see how many I've got. Actually didn't get much this time. It's good to check though. Push it up to 200. That's usually the base I like to leave it at. else do we have up here that we definitely want to check into? We went this way before because that's where Derval's group was. That looks like it's blue. So let's go get it. 
I'm not sure how many are left after that. I I hope. There's at least a few more. I brush right past that too. Let's see. Let's make this quick. Oh sweet, it left the cargo intact. How nice of you. do that one before we close out today I think Nil wants to have a chat with We're us already gone oh well I don't trust that in the slightest I don't see a single machine around No, sir. I don't like it. That's why. Well, the good news is... One, I can already see one. Two. Here they come. And then we learned this previously. There's at least one left. Now I can see it. Come on, bull. I know these can set them off. I can still get the upper hand. There we go. And I'm sure there will be more of them when I get out, but for now, it's handled. Turn that off. Can't be too prepared. Oh, 
kind of them to put all this semi-important stuff in tiny usable triangle boxes for me. Is it a box if it's triangular? Does it have to be rectangular? I have a lot of blaze. I can't wait to get some weapons that'll use up a lot of that. This... Yeah, I knew I hadn't finished the cauldrons yet because in the dialogue options she mentions this dude specifically. Ugly guy isn't aware. Okay, first things first. Time to lay a metric ton of traps. Especially over here. If I am not mistaken, this douchebag is not going to be alone when, uh, when this gets activated, so... Let's see how we do. I'm a little shocked. Oh, it looks like those traps worked out. See? Planned well. Oh, yes. Fabulous. A stealth weave. Good, good, good. Now, can I override Thunderjaws now? We will see. There we go. Information to help me override more machines. Under yes. This is the source of the cauldron data intrusions, forcing them to make aggressive machines. They used to be. Okay. Now, let's take a gander. Make sure we did get everything. Do believe that was the last one. Let's look. 
cauldrons. Two, three, four. Not four. It looks like a missing one then. I think we did do all the far south of the map, right? Got that one. Got that one. Am I wrong in thinking there were supposed to be five? I'm gonna double check that real quick. Okay, there are just four. Very well. Let's uh go do that side quest with Nil, real quick. Because he wants to have a chat. Probably because we're out of bandit camps. There's a bunch of additional stuff I haven't done, apparently. We may wind up actually starting the Frozen Wilds tonight. I quite honestly didn't expect to get all these things out of the way so quickly, but I guess I just overestimated how many I'd left undone. told, though, it's pretty fair to save the frozen wilds until just about where we're at now. I've finished all of the carrying capacity crafting requirements, and so we'll get a bunch of new ones when we go that way. Oh, there you are. It's so bittersweet. Like a smile for a bloody teeth. What's the matter? You look disappointed. <sighs> oh, the bandit plans are gone. I hear another turned back at the Southern Plains, just at a sniff of the legend we caught. That's what all this bloodshed was for, to end the bandit threat. But now there's nothing left to kill. Unless... No, no. I guess this is our last farewell. After all we've been through, this isn't the place for that. There's a mesa south of Meridian with a view of the spear shafts. Meet me there. Just to help me kill Shadow Carja. Oh my gosh. Eclipse peoples are total buttbags. It's like, yeah, that's political. Bandits are political. They're people using crime to take advantage of 
of weak peoples. There is there is politics in that. Okay, what do we got? Scrappers. <laughs> what are you? Chargers. Razors, which tells me I might be near where the stealth guys are. I appreciate it if y'all didn't bust me in my ass. I am not interested in you right now. I'm only going up here because there's a metal flower mill. Don't get things twisted. And there's three corpses. Well, you can't be that out of bandits. You killed a bunch of them. Presence. No. I did wonder on my way here. Well, if you were luring me into an ambush. Where's the fun in that? Some bandit sprawl would never have done for our arena. But this, much better. There's a sense of drama. So, what do you say? How about we try to kill each other? Wait. You brought me out here to ask if I want to fight you? To the death. We'll save it because we only get this one time. Actually, I don't know what else I expected. You would be the weirdest saying. I'm, um, flattered that you think of me this way, but I don't want to kill you. Don't be hasty. When it's life against death, hunter against hunter, I know it'll come to you. Is that really what you want, Mill? You know, I don't think you have a death wish. What you have might be worse, but I see there might be a need for you in this world. I don't understand. I won't fight no. you. No! That's my decision. You can respect it, or try to shoot me in the back as I go. Then it's over. Your last arrow is the cruelest. <laughs> God. And if you talk to them, be like, did you change your mind? It's no. No. I appreciate the confidence in her response to him. Because her immediate view of it is, I don't want to kill you. It's not, wow, would it really suck if you killed me? It's like, no, there's only one way this is going to go. I was pretty sure. Aha, I knew it. Now, what were you doing out here? All right. I'm actually going to save the uh, the quest that's waiting for us in Shadow Carja Land for after we've done the Frozen Wilds, because the Frozen Wilds. Also, I feel like it'll be a good way to build us up to 
what's coming when we do all the final showdown stuff. So let's go look at what the cut looks like, everybody. Okie dokie. Going back up to the grave hoard, y'all. Okay, <clears throat> good on all those. Got my Thunderjaw lens. Fine. Well, I got it back. Because Dr. Dr. Buttbag wanted it. Let's push you back up over the edge again. How am I not wearing any? Fire is actually going to come in a lot of handy up here. So, just freeze. I could swear I had more than that. Oh well. Here's something. This must be the place where Vee was talking about. It's been in the territory just above. <laughs> She's dressed the best for this kind of weather. It's great. Inventory full. What are you doing, Eloy? This path leads to the cut. The Banuke have nothing to offer besides useless mysticism. The Eclipse won't stand idle while you waste time playing in the snow. Sure, they will. Desk. I was thinking. 
Banuk shamans thread blue cables through their skin, right? Kind of like someone else we know, huh? So maybe the real reason you want me to stay clear of the Banuk is to stay clear of your past. It's not my past that concerns me, Loy, but the Master Override. Which is why you should stop prattling and get back to what matters. But as usual, you do as you wish. Mm. Touchy. We have such a great relationship. Oh, that's a finger. Oh boy, knee deep water in the freezing cold. Oh, mine now. He came down from there. But there are lanterns here. Huh. Think of summer sun. Breeze through the trees. Think of clothings that don't bear your mere drift. You sure you'll be warm enough up here, Nora? No. I've worked up a sweat from the climb. But thanks for the fires, it helps. You made it to the cut, Outlander. Not that you'll stay long. I'm staying forever, what are you talking about? Oh, that visual. That's... that's nice. Smoke rising from the mountain. In the village, too. What's it for? Rhea's been gone a long time. But she will return. You must believe she will return. The smoke from the mountain is worse than I do not think that our hunter's blood is on Aratek's hands. He led them to a great challenge. That is all. Who knows better how to lead than Aratek? Meat. Must be something big going on. We haven't lost this much of the just seem to resent the small object. How long will they stay in the trees, out in the wild? Get ready for a rare sight, Nora. Burgrim. Purveyor of necessities. Most of the time, the Banu burned their dead. But not today. The 
Because the bodies couldn't be recovered. Aye, a nasty business. All their best warriors lost. So they're getting a different kind of send off. Okay, what interests me about that ritual is that the Glint Hawks understand what it means enough to come and take what is offered them and then leave. Big Papa. Grasp your grief, my hunters, and kill it! For our kin sees the fate all Banuk long for. Falling with their spears striking steel. Their struggle is over now. You have witnessed their spirits rise up into the blue sky and beyond the blue light. But our struggle is only beginning. Soon. We will again take up the hunt against the daemon that frenzies the machines against us. And so I ask you, can you summon the courage of our fallen kin? Will you fight and die as well as they did? My courage, my spear, and my axe. Our blood is in your teeth, Oratok. We are Banuk. Our enemies. Okay, I dig this chainsaw Our knife brain. thing he's got. The daemon. That frenzies the machines. Machines that wipe out their best. And what do they want to do? Go back up there. Fools. A little advice. Uh, for free. Uh... Aloy. Aloy. Put on a real shirt. I've been up here for two long winters, and I still can't make sense of the Banuk. Take this ruckus. It started with one of their shamans, uh, Oreya, spouting on about spirits and demons up on Thunder's drum. So they march their Warwick up there, and half of them get slaughtered by machines. When Oreya vanished, I thought that Crazy might have gone with her, but no. Here's Big Aratok, gearing them up to do it all over again. What is it about the We'll ask about him sense? later. Hmm. Well, everything's a test to them. A hardship to endure. A challenge to survive. Seems like they don't have much of a choice, a place like this. Yeah. A land cold enough to crack teeth, filled with wild animals. You think they'd accept a little reasonably priced aid? Well, believe me, I've tried to convince them. But a Banuk with nothing left to prove might just lie down and die. And Orea is the one who spoke about this daemon? That's right. Told Aratok and the others that it lives up on Thunder's Drum. And they believe it. But you don't. <laughs> Look, I don't know what Orea found up there. A shaman's not going to talk to an outlander. The machines in the cut are getting more vicious, that's a fact. It could be because of the daemon, or it could be because they all got indigestion, for all I know. But Araya's not around to explain. She took off, and no one knows why. Is Aratok a renowned warrior around here? He's a wary chieftain, 
His voice carries a lot of respect. Not that you hear much of it. Man talks about as much as a dead fish. But when he and Aurea came to town with their Warwick, it drew more Banuk to this little bird than I'd ever seen. Know what else I saw, Aloy? My own little trade route, stretching all the way back to the claim. Then, he goes and leads them off to their death at the claws of angry machines. So much for my best customers. What are these Werricks about, Burgrind? Some sort of tribe within the tribe? Eh, not like our clans back home. You don't get born into these things. They hold triads. Prove your best at something and you might get a place. Some Werricks come and go. Some last as long as Mela. The whole Banuk territory, Banur, is just a bunch of the biggest, oldest Werricks. I'm not sure if I'm less confused, or more confused. <laughs> well, here's the sure thing. Each Warwick has a chieftain and a shaman. They make the decisions. All well and good, except the chieftains are hard-headed, and the shamans have their heads in the clouds. You said you've lived out here for two winters? Ah. Uh, Back home, some fur traders told me about this steel-forsaken heap of tents. Good location. Ripe for change. We were barely scraping by until this place started filling up for Araya. A great prophet is coming, they said. Ah, I heard prophet. Honest mistake. Not that the Banook is stingy, they just prefer to keep trade among themselves. We could get through to enough of them. We could really put this place on the map. Or at least on a map. We? Me and my daughter. Mm -hmm. My assistant, Varjan. My assistant and my daughter. We seem to get along better as business partners. Her mother wanted me to show her a trade. She started tinkering with weapons. Say, when you need a break from this Banuk carry-on, stop in and see her. You're both, uh, mm, how do I put it, uh... Women? No, 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 I independent. Look for her at Long Notch, the <laughs> easternmost of a new camp. Have you ever heard of a man named Silence? Tall, deadly serious, cables in his skin? That I sounds like a lot yeah. of the shamans. I've heard that or shamans. once or twice, but always whispered. Like some boogeyman the Banuk want to forget. I'm not sure what went down, but I got the impression he messed with the Conclave. Or they messed with him. Conclave? All the most important shamans gather in Banur from time to time to keep up with the latest mumbo-jumbo. No idea how they all fit into one tent without those crazy headdresses getting locked up on each other. Araya's been to that shindy, but when I asked her what it's like, she just gave me a dirty look. So if you want to know more, you'll have to find her and make her like it, I guess. Good luck. So how does a word I like mumbo jumbo become vernacular <laughs> again? Or there's something to it. Something connected to how the machines behave. Then you need to find a way. She was last seen headed for the mountains they call the ice rats. I've heard only the shamans know the trail beyond those frozen peaks. Hmm. But I do know where you could find her apprentice, Naltuk. He went north of the river, chasing rumors. Rumors? Not the good kind. Sudden attacks in the snow. Strange new structures. Some say a new machine, like no one has seen before. Well, now I'm definitely interested. Thanks for the talk, Burgund. Don't mention it. I wonder if our talk could be Fortunate that Araya favored Sekuli. I've never shot. seen another painter like her. I do not want to hear this talk from you again. Doubt is heavier than a week's snow. Forgive me, my chieftain. We will be ready for the next attempt. But this will not be an attempt. It must be done. Do you understand? My chieftain. Good. I like how expressive our talk is. Outlander, I suppose you wish to speak. There are other Warax and Song's Edge, too? Yes. The village has its own line for all the new who need trade or shelter. After the war ended, it sprang up from what was once a campsite, quick as the bloom between frosts. 
Perhaps we'll last until the Karja seek war again. Aurea knows about this, Damon. Where would I talk to her? She does a shaman's work. That is not for the eyes and ears of others. Certainly not an outlander's. This Damon you talked about. If you are hardy enough, you can venture out and see the signs yourself. It has changed the machines, made them fiercer, stronger. But what is it? A matter for the shamans to debate. Did your Warwick come from this place? No, you rallied most of our hunters from across Banur to face the threat of the demon. But I was born here and stayed to fight the Karja when others retreated into the mountains. A few of my old warriors remained with me, those who survived. You're set on going back to the mountain? I put my word to it. Even with the risks being so great? The risk of what? Death? It would be a worse fate to bow our heads to the challenge and say too much. Well, I guess that's it then. Good. I prefer deeds to words. Right. You seem sad, stranger. I heard you mention a flood. Yes. A sudden deluge, without rain or melt to explain it. I'm Lalai, the drummer of Deep Din. Or at least I was, until it disappeared under the waters. Deep Din? What's that? A hollow, carved out by the old ones. A chamber, a basin, and a musical instrument all at once. My life, my calling. I'd explain it by playing for you if I could, but its pipes are deep under the water now. So Deep Din is a place, and a musical instrument? Yes. Pipes that carry a perfect tone beneath the sonorous basin. A wondrous edifice the old ones used to carry music far and wide. During the war, my father played the pipes to rally the Banuk against the Karja. I'm the drummer now, but our battles are few and far between. Mostly I played for the joy of it, or to remember my family. Of course, if the waters don't recede, what's the point of joy? Or remembering. So the waters came fast. One day it was dry. The next the nearby river had risen and the entire basin was flooded. I don't understand it. Probably something up on the mountain, there melting. No rain, not even any clouds, and yet the river rose higher than I'd ever seen it. And there it remains. A flood without rain. That is strange. Where is this place? I'll have a look if I'm in the area. Just northwest of here. Look all you like. But I don't see what good it'll do. The floodwaters aren't going anywhere. How does one ask a river to relent? I'm gone sour no Well, I can't afford any of these things yet because I do not have blue gleam, but am I missing how do I not have enough desert glass? I always have enough desert glass. That did not help. Welcome to the cut, stranger. Okay, first things first, which of these quests do we want to do? I think I'm going to do this one first. That'll take me up to a lot of the same map points anyway. It's a pleasure to see you. 
Okay, if I want to learn more about how this daemon affects the machines... Okay, those I'll are people. And to do that, I need to talk to her apprentice, who followed the river north. Outlander, wait, wait a moment. That weapon of yours, Outlander, that spear, I can see the blue light upon it. You're not the first to take an interest in it. I've made it myself. Your own design? Mm, yet you are not a shaman. Uh, no. More of a tinker? A tinker does not understand the spark in the metal, the song <coughs> in the metal like this. But it could be improved upon, modified with the help of the old ones. Far north of here, there is a cave, a shaft in the snow. Within it is a nest of metal birds. Find a bird that hasn't been stripped by shaman's past. Look for a rail inside it, the length of your spear. That's all I can tell you. Get a rail from some metal birds in a cave. Sounds perfectly normal. Like you haven't seen Glintox before. If I'm not mistaken, that's kind of in the direction I'm headed anyway. Now when we get out here, there's actually a bunch of new animals for us to kill. Far from the camp. Keep them together this time. Then we wait. But I bet we'll see a stray. Alright. Metal through metal, good. These are beneath metals. Okay, y'all are not attainable, it looks like. We're gonna try, because we're persistent, but... I can't feel my... I can't feel much of anything in this. Well, I tried to buy you a snazzy new outfit, but apparently you have a deficit. new about that at all. I love badgers in this. They're just so fluffy. Also, just partly pleased that Badgers made it, you know? I got some bones. Y'all are just everywhere, aren't you? Friggin' squirrel. I am delighted. Where'd the other one go? Oh, it just didn't even care.
There we go. I can definitely hear the owls. There's one. Kind of cool that you can, like, get them up in the trees. Okay, where are you at? There we go. Really wants me to follow the road. Now, one of the really cool things about this setting in the game, I've spoken to many people who have been up in Yellowstone, which is where this is set, and they can attest to the fact that it is pretty accurate to the geography. Which is just really cool, in my opinion. Take to knock one of those over. You're about to last. Outlanders. Carja Outlanders. Bergen said Araya's apprentice went north of the river. Hopefully not too far. It looks like we will run into him along the way, and I don't mind updating that part of the quest. Oh my god, give me some bones and skin, you stupid goats. Let me harvest you. There we go. Well, keep my stomach quiet. Naltuk? Who are you? What are you wearing? Burgrind told me you'd be out here. He's persistent. I've told that Asaram a thousand times. I don't need to buy anything. And I'm not selling. I just need to find Araya. Well, you won't. She's gone where only shamans can tread. She seeks guidance from the voice in the blue light. That is her task. And the task she gave me is to observe the daemon's work. To stop it spreading, if I can. But what can I do about these towers? In only a few weeks, they've sprouted throughout the cut. The daemon's energy pulses from them. Rallies the machines, even repairs them. Aratok said this daemon was... frenzying machines? Look there. Those with the purple markings. They belong to the daemon. They're stronger, more dangerous. I've seen something like this before. The corruption. But it wasn't from your daemon. You have? Well, then you know more than I do. These towers, are they part of your corruption? No. Those are new to me, too. Like I said, they empower the daemon's machines. They must be stopped. <laughs> Will you tell me where Aurea went? You ask a lot of questions, 
Only when I'm not getting the answers I need. There's but one voice Soraya wants to hear right now, and it isn't yours. I'm sorry. All right, you want to stop the spread of the Daemon's work? I know how to get started. With my bow and spear. Outlander, wait. Won't you tell me your name? Aloy. Good. If you fall to the Daemon's machines, at least I can properly recount your efforts to Araya. Thanks, Thanks for the vote of confidence. <laughs> but I won't fall. And when I'm done, you're gonna tell me where she is. Then, let's see if this thing can work for me. So the tower helps me by machines, but it can be overridden. No, that's not what I wanted. Ah. Seems I can take care of the machines and towers. The daemon's next. You claimed its power for yourself somehow. Perhaps Aurea should meet you after all. But what she truly seeks is hope. After what I just saw, you could show her that. She's in retreat beyond those mountains, the ice rasps. You'll have to walk the shaman's path to get there. You'll know you've reached the end when you come to a shrine, a great machine covered in blue gleam. Shamans who complete the path take a piece of it as reward. If you make it that far, you should too. You'll have earned it. You said something about blue gleam at the end of the shaman's path? A crystal that builds on the bodies of machines in the oldest ice. We Banuk believe it's the stuff of the blue light, frozen as it escapes their shells. You might be more interested that merchants will trade well for it. Bergen told me you're Aurea's apprentice. In her absence, I serve the chieftain and his Werak as an advisor, a scout, a speaker for the blue light. Our responsibilities. I don't know if I can live up to Aurea's example, but I have to try. I owe her that much. She took a chance on me, an aspiring shaman from the edge of the world. No one else would. Were you with Aurea? When they attacked the mountain. I wish I had been, even with all that happened. I'm no warrior, though, so she bid me wait. When Aurea and the chieftain returned, I saw them argue bitterly. I don't know what about exactly. Then she came to me, gave me my task, and left us. How do I cross this shaman's path? Go to the ice rasps. Then follow the markers through the ice caves and the waterfalls and make the climb to the shrine. But be careful. The path is meant to be an ordeal, the final trial of a young shaman's training. And I'll find Araya at the end of it? No. She goes further up, somewhere inside the mountain. If you see her, would you tell her? I have faith she will hear the voice again. All right, I guess I'm off to the ice rasps to find this shaman's path. But today we go to the lake. Where good times will be had by all. And I continue to hunt animals that try to circumvent my will. Huh. 
Continue to not give me good stuff. You suck, goats. You're so withholding. Oh, it's a blue one. Nice. Good. That's oh, just a boar. And a snap maw. Hello, friend. Do you know where I am? Oh, he knocking trees down. That's kind of cool. They're scanning for me. I thought they'd go on forever. Oh. Killing the snap monsters is apparently part of the plan. This must be the ruin Lyle I was talking about. Deep in. Floated too, like she said. Snap moss. Where are you at? Let's Probably see. Here somewhere up river. Follow the river, find its source. Seems simple enough. Must be the entrance to this den. Okey-dokey. Well, I kind of like that they use the old street lights. That's kind of cool. These mountains must be the ice rasps. Oh, hey, it's a blue gleam merchant. You. Still don't have enough desert glass. Don't know why I did that. Yeah. Well, I got that at least. I am right by where there is blue gleam. But I have to go north ish. Back down here. Follow the river upstream. I don't know why I did that. Ah, this feels like sunburn. Great. 
ray catch. Anything fun? Fish. Goat. This. Emissions Joyride. To Shelly Guerrero McKenzie from Laura Vogel. Emissions Joyride. Okay, girl. You are never going to guess what happened on my way home last night. First thing I heard this sound like a herd of killer bees escaping out of a tin can. Then there was this weird light through the trees. I was totally hoping it was aliens, but nah, it was one of those old blue spectrum LEDs. Looked super creepy in the snow. As it got closer, I heard some Yahoo letting out this weird guttural man shriek, as if he were doing some macho primal scream therapy, you know, with a with a thousand RPMs between his legs. Said Yahoo was none other than Dodd Blevins, our new director of security, or whoever or whatever his twenty dollar title is. He was actually riding an old snowmobile. They're like a thousand times more polluting than a combustion era car. My expert professional opinion, Blevins is a grade A douche canoe. I decided not to stick the, secu the security bot on his flabby rear. After all, he's practically our boss for the next two weeks. But Shells, you might want to take a bathroom break now, because you're going to lose it when you find out what I did instead. I was standing right near one of the old trail signs, and I could tell Blevins was headed for me, so I reprogrammed the sign to swap directions between Fairy Falls and Purple Mountain. Wicked, right? You'd never get a snowmobile up there. I hope he bailed out hard and had to walk back to the lodge. Guess I'll be filing my very first incident report right before this whole thing shuts down forever. I could let it slide like usual, but when the, then where's the fun, Shells? Where is the fun, L? They seem nice. Well, somebody wanted in. He really blew his entire ledge off just to get through the door. Flooding detected. Evacuation recommended. Overflow basin compromised. The overflow basin. Is that the dip? Looks like a control center. What happened in here to start the water flowing? The lock positions. Helpful. Intake tower malfunction. Drainage system offline. That's probably not good news. Looks like most of the facility is underwater. What has happened? Another holographic interface. There must be some kind of code. Maybe I should try scanning objects in this area. I've already done you. I should be able to shut this place down from here. Oh, someone made a mess of this. If I had the right parts, I'll bet I could get it working again. Don't know how happy you just made me. <laughs> For a moment, I thought my fire was snuffed. My forge gone cold. But nope. Nope. Not old Gildan. He's adorable. 
Welcome. Uh, wait. Start from the beginning. What are you doing down here? Ow! My apologies. When you mostly talk to yourself, you can tell your stories in whatever order you like. There's an artifact in that I like that saying. I simply must acquire. But as you may have noticed, the door won't budge. I took one of those roundish, ringy what's it's from the wall beside the door. No luck. So I had to go with that panel with the button. Even less luck. My gentle experimentation caused the chamber to. flood. So I pushed the button again, perhaps a little too enthusiastically. Sparks and smoke. <laughs> Now, obviously, I came here to investigate. My cautious footsteps may have contributed slightly to the collapse of a bridge. And when the bridge began to collapse, I may have, for the sake of expedience, abandoned the cumbersome ringy what's it to the waves. By the time I thought to give up the endeavor, the door had closed behind me. And thusly do we come to the present moment. You said... Something about an artifact? Indeed. That storage room is brimming with treasures from the old ones. But one in particular caught my eye. An intricate looking glass. I've only seen one such device before. My old mom brought one back for me from, from wherever she'd gone to that time. I remember holding it, staring into its face, seeing myself and my mother over my shoulder smiling and one of these looking glasses it's in the storage room oh yes i'm quite sure i peered into that dim little chamber and there it was i've wanted to find one for so long i yes this time i'm sure i have well there's no way we're getting into that storage room without another ring it's part of the locking mechanism that controls the door you don't say well, that's fantastic news. Marvelous, even. You've got two hands. I've got two hands. Perfect. We have so many hands, <laughs> guys. My savior, my salvation, and if you like, why wouldn't you? Of course you will. My accomplice. <laughs> Together, that ring is as good as ours, and with it, the storage room and its voids. Didn't you say you dropped the ring in the water? Well, I'll grant you that adds a heretofore undiscussed level of complexity to the proceedings. I would hate so to grade papers written by him. Water. Quite by accident. And then you broke that button. Also, quite by accident. The panel's the only way to shut this place down, as far as I can tell. This isn't gonna be easy. That storage room is filled, top to bottom. Would you be surprised to find the parts you need in there? I certainly wouldn't be. You don't know if I need any parts. So, we need to replace that ring and get into the storage room. Then I can fix the panel and shut this place down. And I can... Finally wrap my fingers around that looking glass. Okay, Golden. How are we gonna get that ring? Two sets of hands, girl. Two sets of hands. Behind us lies there an <laughs> that enormous face. Gates. Oh my god. <laughs> I believe the gates must be operated in tandem. Together we can dry this place out. Guess we better get started then. I guess we better. So when he says he's looking for a looking glass, I wonder if it's like an actual like oh, mirror? Or if his mom brought him an iPad with selfie ahead, mode. Girl. See the valve? Time to put our hands to use. I'll take care of this one. There's another valve on the other side to lock the gate in place. Would you mind heading across and uh, doing the honors? You know, I wonder if he talks like this even when there's nobody with him. I mean, it'd be an interesting way to prevent getting mugged by bandits if they think there's more people with you. Other stagnant water. Charming. You don't suppose that's marvelous. You made it. Now grab that valve and give it a spin. On a it. little more now, and I should be able to get the blasted gate moving. There. You should be able to lower the gate. Huh? Right you are. Now, when I get this gate down, you'll need to turn the valve again. 
One gate down. Halfway through then, aren't we? To the second gate. Yep. A ladder is Crap. a rare and special thing, girl. Can depend on it to take you exactly where you need to go and no further. Yeah, that's a ladder. Hmm. I'd wager the valves for the second sluice gate are somewhere above us. How are we gonna get up there? Let me look around. Looks like I could jump across on that rickety resting platform. Do not fall in the water, Aloy. You will die so frigging hard. And don't step on that bit. Nice jump! <laughs> nice! What am I saying? That was stupendous! I agree. Such absolute disregard for personal safety. Thanks. I think. Oh, you're close, girl. Just spring across the gap. Yeah, just huh? spring in. You're right above me. Just send that ladder on down. Look out below. Now we've done this once before. Should be as easy as falling down a hole. If you'd take the valve on the other side. Let's set up the same way on this side. I should look for an access tunnel. This, this is my sort of delve. Thousand little problems to solve. And somebody else to do all the hard work. Wait. I have missed something. There it is. Okay. Uh-huh, Gildan. <laughs> I I just felt her exas her exasperation in my bones. Okay, Gildan, turn the valve. It's not working. Damn thing's too heavy. Glance behind me, would you? See anything big and uh, broken? Oh, maybe a little. Looks like part of the counterweight broke off. If I can get up there, my weight might be enough to get it moving again. Uh, hang on, okay? I've got a plan. Involved great physical peril, but... Don't get up or anything. I have to stay on it until it locks. That's fine, I got it.
the very little bit of weight that her body puts on it. You were right. This thing did swallow the ring. Ha <laughs> ha! That's the old gilded intuition in action. It's never led me astray. Sure, its chosen roots can be a bit circuitous, but never mind. To the storage room. To the spoils. Oh, what's in here? More old world treasures, perhaps? This place is full of surprises. Can we have a look? Didn't you want to get into the storage room? Okay, shells. Shells, we're not focusing on that right now. Recording, okay? We're not even in the band meeting. So it doesn't count as practice, right? Uh, merch. We need merch. Stickers! There is another door around here somewhere. I just can't see it. Is that what I was thinking of? Maybe? Okay. Oh, it wants me to follow you. Well, that's some BS. Let's, uh... Get down to the ground and move from there. I'll figure out where the thing was later. Oh, thank God that was water. That's the door I wanted. We drained enough water for what we need to do, but I wonder if I could empty out the whole dam. Pipes. Well, all right. Time to get the flow going to the right place. Yo, Shelly. I'm trapped in Servitor Hell over here. Got in this morning, and as usual, that one half-baked chrome dolt was bumping up against the locked entry door in the reservoir room, moaning about requiring entry into the totality of the facility. Between its robot voice and those weird, grindy sounds its limbs make, the acoustics reminded, a, uh, reminded of a track from one of those less accessible German post-punk bands. I've told them and told them, 
every night the pipe network decouples so that the reservoir can refill, and every morning it has to reset manually. All you have to do is turn the valve thingy so that the water flows directly into the pump. The rest of the servitors seem to get it, but this guy won't stop bugging out. I mean, I know we're supposed to be the on-site advisors, but this is getting ridiculous. Do I have to scratch the instructions into their stupid shiny faces? That's... that's interesting. That's not quite right. Something's not right. Okay, that is the one we want then. That goes nowhere, so that tells me. Looks like I'm on the right track. Okay, so that's definitely supposed to go there. Maybe. This must go down to the lower level. Oh, I see something purple. It stinks down here. Ooh. That's everything. I should head back up with Gildan. Okay, that is not the side we want to be on. Left, up, down, up, right. Uh, what, um, what are you doing with your hands there, girl? Dude, if you want to delve, you need to get a focus. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. I thought you'd lost your mind tickling the empty air like that. I mean, this is it. Here we go. 
play together or what? Maybe two more times? Nah, shit. Farewell tour! Reunion tour in like six months. Fans do it all the time. <laughs> For our adoring fans. It's not that hard to stay in. Gilda? Everything okay? I was so sure I saw it. The looking glass. I was so sure. Oh, the clock. There in the window. I was... Of course. Trick of the light. Nothing at all. I'm sorry, Gildan. It must have meant a lot to you. Oh, well. Much as any artifact of the old ones would mean to me, really. It's fine. I'm fine. Besides, what are the spoils compared to the Delve? That's why we do it, girl. <laughs> the Delve! Not the treasure. <laughs> and what a Delve it was! By the Great Blazing Forge, I'll never forget that. Now then, I, uh... believe we have some repairs to make. I like him. I hope that if there are future games, he pops up in them. Yes, you do. I've heard something like that once or twice. Oh, she's modest now. A master of the arts of the old ones, a delver to shame the entire claim, and she wants to be modest. Ha! It's not like I did it alone, Gildan. No. No, I suppose not. So what's next for you? On your way back to the claim? And deprive the people of Song's Edge the story of this encounter? Perish the thought! <laughs> I'll stay there a while longer. But a story is best told by all who encounter it. Come and lend a hand, won't you? <sighs> Overflow basin empty. Interior accessible. Minimal blood damage. Sounds like the basin is dried out, too. We will take a look. Ah, crap, girl. <sighs> Can't take you anywhere. Back into the snow. Let's see. Water's lower. I'm going by that sound. I think Laulai's already at the den. Take a look. I think we are close to the place that What's His Nuts wanted me to go to, but I, I don't see it. Is that it? Yes. So we're not as close as I thought I was. It's fine. We'll do that one in a bit. This quest isn't quite done yet, though. Sound. 
Aha. Dear nobody, the auto cars are on their way. Mine will take me to my apartment in Cody. Hers will take her to, Ver to the Vertiport. She brought her luggage with her to work today. Everything she owns packed into two little suitcases. She's wearing the fanciest outfit I've ever seen her in. It's for mom, she said. She bought me this outfit, if you can believe it. Normally, like, who cares? But I don't know. She's already dealing with a lot. We walked through the dam today, listened to all these tapes, read all these messages. Maybe this is one of those sign my yearbook, we'll never lose touch things, but I'm not scared of losing Laura anymore. We're family. We didn't inherit each other or settle on each other, we chose each other. No amount of distance, no number of jerks in bad suits or obsequious robots are going to tear us apart. So listen, on the off chance that someone ever actually does stumble onto these things, here's the truth. There was this band called Concrete Beach Party, and for a second, it was the best band in the world. And you, whoever you are, are really, really lucky. Because you're the only person who ever got to hear them. See you never, the last girls on Earth. You look happy to be playing again. I don't know what you did, but the water drained in the snap of a short song. What do you think of the music? I've never heard anything else like it. That's because there's no other place with such resonance, such intonation that rattles your ribs with its power. And of course, no one else knows these pipes like I do. I learned them by ear before I could walk, strapped to my father's back. Thank you for draining the waters. Not just for myself, but for my ancestors and their songs. Please, take this as a token of our gratitude. Blue Gleam? Very nice. been going for pretty long so I think before going to that as the main quest we're gonna do the uh, the secret shared even though it's it's a bit of a ways up there that'll put us in contact with some blue gleam though and allow us to upgrade our spear a little more Meat. It looks like we're going to be right by it. Let's see. If it do, that's a lot of boars. Get Hello, down. boars.
Yes, good. Look at me, huh? Who, me? Did I get all the blue gleam? There is one left somewhere. made my quest to find it that much more difficult because I just killed a bunch of stuff let's see Banooks boars that off? Does it help? No, there's just one around here I haven't found. Let's see. Oh, did it do? It's the only problem I have with looking for these damn things, is that they just kind of ballpark where they are. And I get it, you're... It, it's a crafting thing. You're supposed to find them, but... Why is there one that is in with the group and then off away from the others, though? That's the thing. And so non-visible that I can't pick it up on my focus. Further up, maybe? Oh well, where's that thing? There we go. Repel. Whatever. We are near another tower, it looks like. Where are we at?
a cabin. And what I'm hearing is the volcano, okay. Goats, goats, pigs. What am I hearing? Oh, shit. Didn't see its usual grenade thing. That one kind of surprised me. I love the way she runs through deep snow. Serbiter says I'll get docked if I don't do the personal response assignment. Okay, fine, here you go, Robonag. This trip sucks. Yellowstone sucks. High school sucks. Dropped my sandwich in some weird rainbow water and it got dissolved kind of wicked, I guess, but now I'm hungry. Why are they always saying to admire the view? Who cares about a view? Don't make me look at things I don't want to look at. Bears, raccoons, rabbits, so many furry who cares it's. Holocast here sucks. Couldn't DL latest goblination patch till we got back on auto bus and Miss Shattered Chasm challenge. My horde was so pissed. I hate nature. There, done, enjoy. By Beth from above. You know what, we're not gonna fool with that right now. Okay, chargers. Of course I gotta go right through them to get where I wanna go. Cold, very cold. I actually will do the Hunter's Lodge challenges here, too. I mean, there's one you can't do because you have to be the chieftain, but... The rest of them, at least. Goat. Lance horn.
All righty. The cave that shaman told me about. Long way down. And not natural either. Thanks, Aloy. That's not what I wanted you to do. Here's one of the metal birds. Guardy got to it. Something's been hacked out of it. Maybe I can find another of these flying machines. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. I could use my focus to look around. Door lock. I'll need to configure oh. it. If those punk technicians think I'm gonna sleep on them waltzing in here and screwing around with the drone routines, <laughs> they have seriously underestimated my sense of mission. Let's just reset that hollow lock and Sierra Echo. Yeah, you sure showed them, buddy. If I can't find something, maybe my focus can. Focus can pick anything up. No one's touched this machine since it got sealed in here. Mountain rail. That's what I want. Shouldn't be hard to remove. I'll show it to that shaman when I'm back in Song's Edge. To Kenny Chow from Harris Bonner. Ban him. Kenny. I get it, okay? I really do. Pharaoh is Firebreak's patron. Blevins is Pharaoh's lapdog. Circle of ass kissing, blah, blah, blah. But if you allow Blevins to remain on site, installation is going to take twice as long as we're budgeted for. And I don't know how deep Firebreak's pockets are, but I can guarantee you they're not bottomless. We've got just one recalibrating... We've got, we ju we've just got done recalibrating the entire fleet. The entire fleet. Kenny, why? I imagine you're one, why? I imagine you're wondering, oh, Kenny, I'm so glad you hypothetically asked. Blevins was unhappy with the baseline behavioral routines of the security drones, you know, the ones he selected himself. Not aggressive enough, he said. I doubt a Rottweiler mounted on an ICBM would be aggressive enough for him. 
So we patched in some combat behaviors, which, let me tell you, was not easy. Basically outfitted these things for war. Think about that, Kenny. Bleeding edge combat drones patrolling on empty wilderness. Also, Blevins can play army and f on Firebreak's dime. I'm begging you, Kenny. Find a way to bar him from the hangar. Please. Harris. I'm using the wrong arrows, I just realized. It's fine. Let's see. Excellent job, me. So this thing will improve my spear, huh? Let's go find out how. Running down the mountain. Do 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 do. Is this what you? Hush, hush. A shaman's secrets are not spoken aloud. But you told me. Is uh, this whatever. What you wanted me to find. Find it to your spear. Use it to attach this for now. You'll find more, I'm sure. Why are you helping me? The blue light is fading. The machine songs are ending, and, and what does the conclave do? They sit, they chant, they observe. No more. We must fight for it. And you? You are a fighter. We share a cause. I'm not sure we do. I'm not even sure what the cause is. But I'm grateful. No need for thanks. Only action. Now I can attach modification parts to my spear. Sweet! Okay, and 29 is the best one.
Well, whatever it is that I got that special drummer modification for, it is not any of my bows. Let's see. That puts us back on the shaman's path. But we're at just over three hours now, so I think that this actually is probably a good place for us to take a break. As soon as I get up to a campfire. It's been fun, and I'm glad that we started this in earnest. It means that we're going to be able to basically focus on the frozen wilds for most of our adventuring come Wednesday. I want to thank all of you for joining me tonight. As usual, regular story-driven broadcasts happen on Mondays and Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard U.S. time. If you'd like to watch any of my previous gameplays or broadcasts, you can hop on over to my YouTube channel, which is under the same username. If you are watching from PlayStation 4, you can find my Twitch channel or my YouTube channel under the username ImpureTale. And if you're watching on YouTube, give a like and subscribe. Come on over to Twitch and watch us live sometime. Y'all have a great evening and a good start to your week, I hope.